In the year 2137, humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge led us beyond the confines of our solar system. The Voyager 8, an advanced interstellar probe, breached the boundaries of the Oort cloud, transmitting back a discovery that would redefine human existence, a signal, unmistakably artificial, emanating from the Trappist, one system. The world stood still as the United Nations Space Coalition, UNSC, decrypted the signal, revealing coordinates and a simple, repeating message, come. In response, humanity pooled its resources, intellect, and dreams into the construction of the Pioneer, a spacecraft capable of near-light speed travel, designed to carry a delegation of Earth's finest minds and hearts. The Pioneer's journey spanned decades. Generations watched as it became a speck of light against the cosmos, carrying with it the hopes of all humankind. Meanwhile, Earth experienced a renaissance of unity and technological innovation, inspired by the promise of what lay beyond. Upon entering the Trappist, one system, the crew of the Pioneer was greeted by a flotilla of alien vessels, their designs elegant and otherworldly, defying the harshness of space with their artistry. The aliens, calling themselves the Irene, communicated through intricate light patterns, translating their thoughts into images and emotions that resonated within the human mind. The Irene shared their history with the human delegates, revealing a civilization that had known peace for millennia. They had watched humanity's struggles from afar, witnessing our wars, our triumphs, and our relentless drive to reach out into the darkness. In humanity, the Irene saw a reflection of their own tumultuous past and the potential for greatness that lay within our chaotic nature. In the heart of the Irene's capital, a city that spanned continents and floated among the clouds of their homeworld, the humans were shown wonders beyond imagination. Technologies that healed the sick, restored dead planets to life, and harnessed the energy of stars. But more than this, they were shown a different way of being, a society where art, science, and empathy were intertwined, where every individual's contribution was valued, and where harmony with the universe was the foundation of existence. The irony offered humanity a place among the stars, not as subordinates, but as equals. They saw in humans the potential to grow, to bring the chaos and creativity that had fueled our rapid evolution, and to add our own colors to the tapestry of galactic civilization. As the pioneer returned to Earth, it carried not just advanced knowledge and promises of aid, but a new understanding. The first contact with the Irene had shown humanity a mirror, reflecting not just our flaws, but our incredible potential. With this knowledge came a new responsibility to ourselves and to the galaxy. Humanity did not step into the galactic stage as conquerors or as the conquered, but as artists, scientists, and dreamers. Our first contact with the irony became the catalyst for a transformation that saw Earth's nations unite like never before. Our planet, once plagued by divisions, began to heal, its people working together to usher in a new era of prosperity and exploration. And so, humans took their place among the stars, not just as explorers or soldiers, but as creators, contributing our art, our music, and our stories to the vast collection of the galaxy's cultures. In the irony, we found mentors and friends, and in their wisdom, a path to our own redemption. In the end, first contact was not about the technology we gained or the knowledge we exchanged. It was about recognizing our place in the vast, beautiful cosmos and understanding that our greatest strengths lay not in our technology or even our tenacity, but in our capacity to love, to dream, and to create. With the irony's guidance, humanity stepped forward into a new chapter, ready to face the challenges of the cosmos, not alone, but as part of a greater, harmonious symphony of life. As the decades passed, the alliance between humanity and the irony flourished. The exchange of knowledge and cultures brought about a renaissance on Earth and its off-world colonies, birthing innovations in energy, medicine, and ecological restoration. Humanity's artistic expressions mesmerized the irony, who found in our music, literature, and visual arts a raw, emotive power that complemented their own serene and intricate creations. The Harmony Station, a joint human irony endeavor, orbited a newly terraformed planet at the edge of human space. 
It became a bustling hub of trade, diplomacy, and cultural exchange, attracting beings from distant systems, eager to engage with the newfound allies. Here, humans and Irene worked side by side with representatives of other species, crafting policies and partnerships that aimed to ensure peace and mutual prosperity across the known galaxy. Amidst this backdrop of burgeoning interstellar community, a new discovery arose, one that would test the strength of the human irony bond and challenge the ideals of the Galactic Alliance. Deep within the uncharted territories, a probe sent by the Harmony Station stumbled upon an ancient artifact buried on a desolate moon. Its technology was unlike anything seen before, hinting at a civilization far older and perhaps more advanced than even the irony. The artifact, a monolithic structure inscribed with cryptic symbols, emanated a faint, pulsating energy. Its discovery sparked a flurry of excitement and curiosity, but also a shadow of apprehension. The irony, with their long memory of the galaxy's history, suggested caution, hinting at legends of a bygone era when the cosmos was a much more tumultuous place, filled with empires that rose and fell like the tides of time. As word of the artifact spread, a diverse team of scientists, linguists, and historians from various races was assembled on the Harmony Station. Their task was to unlock the artifact's secrets and ensure that its knowledge would benefit all, not lead to the dominance of one. However, the deeper they delved, the more they realized that the artifact was not merely a remnant of a lost civilization but a beacon, one that had now been reawakened by their interference. Signals began emanating from the artifact, reaching out to the dark, unexplored corners of the galaxy. The team feared they had unwittingly sent a message to whatever civilization had created the artifact, possibly alerting them to the presence of emerging species like humanity and the current inhabitants of the galaxy. As tensions rose and debates ensued about how to proceed, the leaders of the human and irony communities called for unity and collaboration. They argued that whatever response came from the depths of space, the galaxy would face it together, drawing on the diverse strengths of its many peoples. The story closes with the Harmony Station abuzz with activity, as representatives from across the galaxy gather to discuss the implications of the artifact's signals. Plans are made to send expeditions to the source of the returning signals, with the hope of establishing contact or at least understanding the intentions of the senders. Humanity, once looking to the stars with a mixture of fear and wonder, now reached out with a hand extended in friendship and curiosity, backed by a coalition of races united by a shared vision of peace and exploration. The future was uncertain, filled with challenges and the potential for conflict, but also brimming with the possibility of new alliances, technologies, and understanding of the universe. The story ends with the Pioneer II, a vessel representing the collective effort of the galactic community, preparing to embark on this new journey, carrying a crew of humans, irony, and other allied beings. They set forth into the unknown, driven by the same indomitable spirit of discovery that had propelled humanity into the stars, now magnified by the collective hopes and dreams of their interstellar brethren. The vastness of space lay before them, a canvas waiting to be filled with new stories, challenges, and adventures. As the years passed, the alliance between humanity and the Irene flourished. Earth transformed under the guidance of its new allies, becoming a beacon of life and diversity amidst the stars. The once dying planet was rejuvenated, its environments restored, and its people united in a common purpose. Humans began to explore the stars alongside the irony, encountering new civilizations, each with its own wonders and challenges. The United Nations Space Coalition evolved into the Terran Galactic Federation, TGF, representing not just the nations of Earth, but all of humanity's off-world colonies and outposts. The Federation's mandate was clear, to explore, to learn, and to peacefully integrate into the galactic community. As humanity's influence grew, so did its responsibilities. The galaxy was vast and filled with civilizations at different stages of development. Some were just beginning to reach out into the void, much like humanity had centuries ago. Others were ancient, their cultures and technologies far beyond human comprehension. And amidst this tapestry of life, 
There were also mysteries and dangers that had lain dormant for Ian's, waiting for the unwary to stumble upon them. One such mystery presented itself on the edge of irony space, where an ancient artifact was discovered floating in the void. It was older than any civilization known to the irony and resistant to all attempts at analysis. Its purpose and origin were unknown, but its discovery sent ripples throughout the galactic community. The artifact emitted a low, pulsing signal, a call that resonated not just in the physical realm, but touched the minds of those sensitive to the ebb and flow of the universe. This signal drew the attention of many, from scholars and scientists to adventurers and opportunists, each speculating on the artifact's purpose and the secrets it might hold. Recognizing the potential for discovery and danger, the TGF and the Irony Council decided to form a joint expedition to investigate the artifact. They assembled a team of the galaxy's finest minds, including human and Irony scientists, engineers, and diplomats, as well as representatives from other interested civilizations. As the expedition's flagship, the Odyssey, prepared to depart, its crew knew they stood on the brink of a discovery that could change the galaxy. The mission was not without its risks. The artifact lay in a region of space known for its unpredictable anomalies and hidden perils. But the promise of unlocking ancient secrets and the potential for new alliances outweighed the dangers. As the Odyssey set course for the artifact, the crew couldn't help but feel the weight of their task. They were not just explorers or scientists, they were ambassadors of a united humanity and its values, ready to face the unknown with curiosity, respect, and an unyielding spirit of cooperation. The journey to the artifact would be long, and the challenges they would face unknown. But as the Odyssey vanished into the star-speckled darkness, it carried with it the hopes and dreams of all who believed in the promise of a united galaxy. The story of humanity and the Irene, once separate threads in the vast tapestry of the cosmos, were now forever intertwined, their shared future unwritten and full of possibilities. As the Odyssey journeyed through the cosmos, its path illuminated by the light of distant stars, the crew found themselves drawn closer, not just by their shared mission, but by the realization of how much they depended on one another. The ship became a microcosm of the galaxy itself, a place where different species and cultures merged, learned from each other, and grew together. The expedition to the ancient artifact was not just a journey across space, but also through the intricacies of interstellar diplomacy and the shared curiosity that united all sentient beings. Along the way, the Odyssey encountered other travelers and civilizations, each interaction weaving a new thread into the complex fabric of galactic society. One such encounter was with the Zephyri, a nomadic civilization that traversed the galaxy in great fleets, their ships harmonizing with the cosmic winds. The Zephyri, intrigued by the Odyssey's mission, shared tales of ancient legends that spoke of artifacts similar to the one the expedition sought, suggesting that it might be part of a network that spanned the galaxy. Relics of a bygone era when a now-extinct civilization sought to unite the cosmos. The Odyssey also faced challenges, from navigating through regions of space where the laws of physics seemed twisted by unseen forces, to diplomatic tensions that tested the crew's ability to maintain peace and understanding among the galaxy's diverse inhabitants. Each obstacle overcome strengthened the bonds between the crew and their allies, reinforcing the belief that together, they could face any adversity. As the Odyssey neared the artifact's location, the pulsing signal grew stronger, resonating not just in the minds of those sensitive to it, but also affecting the ship's systems, hinting at the artifact's immense power and the knowledge it might hold. The crew prepared for the possibility that they were about to unlock secrets that could redefine their understanding of the universe and their place within it. But the galaxy is vast, and its mysteries are not easily unraveled. As the Odyssey approached the artifact, they realized they were not alone. Other vessels, drawn by the artifact signal, had converged on the same point, each with their own intentions and desires. Some sought knowledge, others power, and a few, guided by fear, aimed to destroy the artifact before it could reveal its secrets. The situation was a crucible, testing the fragile alliances and mutual trust that had been built among the galaxy's civilizations. 
The Odyssey's crew found themselves at the heart of a tense standoff, with the potential to spark conflict or forge a new era of cooperation and understanding. As tensions rose, a new signal emerged from the artifact, one that transcended language and species, conveying a sense of urgency and a plea for unity. It was a call to stand together, not as separate races and civilizations, but as stewards of the galaxy, entrusted with its preservation and the pursuit of knowledge. The story of the Odyssey and the ancient artifact was far from over. It was a chapter in a larger saga of discovery, diplomacy, and the quest for understanding that stretched across the stars. As the crew faced the unknown, their actions would echo through the galaxy, shaping the future of all who call it home. The signal emanating from the artifact became a beacon, drawing the gathered ships into a reluctant, uneasy truce. The Odyssey, with its diverse and diplomatically adept crew, found itself at the forefront of negotiations. Their mission of exploration and understanding had prepared them uniquely for this moment, turning their ship into a de facto neutral ground where representatives from the various factions could convene. As the delegates gathered aboard the Odyssey, a makeshift council formed, its members seated around a table that had been repurposed from the ship's common area. The atmosphere was tense, charged with the anticipation of what might be discovered and the fear of what might be unleashed. The artifact, silent for millennia, now seemed to be awakening, its pulses growing more frequent and intense. Some speculated that it was reacting to the presence of so many ships, or perhaps to the burgeoning unity among them. Others feared it was a countdown to some unknown event. Amidst the debates and discussions, a small team led by the Odyssey's chief scientist, Dr. Lena Sorensen, and her irony counterpart, Illos, devised a plan to interface with the artifact. Using a combination of human ingenuity and irony technology, they hoped to unlock its secrets without triggering any potential safeguards that might have been put in place by its creators. The endeavor was not without its dissenters. Some factions argued that tampering with the artifact was too great a risk, that its powers could be destructive, or that awakening it might attract the attention of other, perhaps less benevolent, civilizations lurking in the uncharted regions of the galaxy. But the potential for groundbreaking discoveries, for insights into the galaxy's ancient past, and the possibility of unlocking new technologies or forms of energy was too tempting to ignore. The Council, swayed by the promise of such knowledge and the persuasive arguments of the Odyssey's crew, eventually agreed to proceed with caution. As preparations for the interface began, the Odyssey and the assembled ships formed a protective ring around the artifact. The area was declared a temporary neutral zone, monitored by a joint task force to ensure that the fragile peace was maintained. The moment of activation was broadcast throughout the galaxy, a historic event witnessed by countless beings on countless worlds. As Dr. Sorensen and Illos initiated the interface, a brilliant light enveloped the artifact, its glow reflecting in the eyes of all who watched, filled with hope, fear, and wonder. The initial contact was a flood of information, overwhelming the systems designed to interpret it. But as the Odyssey's AI and Irene algorithms began to adapt, patterns emerged. The data contained within the artifact spoke of an ancient civilization, the Architects, who had once spanned the galaxy, seeding life and creating a network of artifacts designed to guide emerging civilizations. The revelation that humanity and many other species might owe their existence to these enigmatic architects sparked a flurry of questions and theories. The implications were staggering, suggesting a connectedness of all life in the galaxy that went beyond mere coincidence. But the artifact held more than just historical data. It contained a map, pointing to other artifacts and potentially to the homeworld of the architects themselves. The Odyssey's mission, already monumental, now expanded into a quest that could unite the galaxy in a shared journey of discovery. As the Council disbanded, with representatives returning to their ships, a new alliance was formed, dedicated to uncovering the legacy of the architects. The Odyssey, at the heart of this alliance, set a course for the nearest point on the map, its crew and the galaxy at large poised on the brink of a new era. The journey ahead promised challenges and wonders beyond imagining, as the story of the Odyssey and its crew continued to unfold, a testament to the indomitable spirit of exploration that united them all. 
The Odyssey and its allied fleet set forth towards the coordinates revealed by the artifact, each ship carrying a mix of excitement and trepidation about what they might find. The journey was long, taking them to regions of the galaxy that had remained untouched and unseen by any known civilization. Stars unfamiliar to even the Irene guided their path, each one a silent sentinel to the vastness of the universe and the smallness of the ships that dared to traverse it. As they neared the destination, the fabric of space itself seemed to shimmer with a strange energy, a sign that they were approaching something extraordinary. The fleet came to a halt before a colossal structure, suspended in the void, its design unlike anything anyone had seen before. It was an ancient stargate, its surface etched with the same patterns found on the artifact, pulsing gently with light. Dr. Sorensen, Ilas, and a team of experts from various species assembled to decode the gate's mechanisms. It became clear that the gate was a portal, a doorway to distant parts of the galaxy, or perhaps even beyond. The map on the artifact had led them not just to remnants of the architects, but to a network that spanned the cosmos, a legacy of exploration and unity. The decision to activate the gate was not made lightly. The risks were immense, but so were the possibilities. With the combined knowledge of the fleet and the technology gleaned from the artifact, the gate came to life, its ancient mechanisms humming with energy as a pathway opened, revealing a tunnel of swirling light. One by one, the ships of the fleet entered the gate, the Odyssey leading the way. They emerged in a region of space that was breathtaking in its beauty, a nebula painted with the colors of creation, where new stars were born from the dust of the cosmos. And there, amidst the celestial nursery, they found it, the homeworld of the architects, a planet of incredible diversity and beauty, its surface teeming with life and the remnants of the civilization that had once united the galaxy. The planet was a library of knowledge, containing the history of the architects and their journey across the stars. It spoke of their philosophy, their achievements, and their eventual transcendence beyond the physical realm, leaving behind the gates and artifacts as guides for future generations to follow. The discovery united the fleet and the galaxy in a way nothing else could. Former rivals shared in the wonder and the promise of what they had found, realizing that they were part of a larger story that spanned the ages. The legacy of the architects became a beacon of hope, showing that unity and cooperation could lead to unimaginable achievements. The Odyssey and its crew returned to Earth, not just as explorers, but as heralds of a new era for humanity and the galaxy. They brought back knowledge, technology, and a new understanding of their place in the universe. The story of their journey, from the discovery of the first artifact to the revelations of the architect's homeworld, became a legend, a reminder of the boundless potential that lies within the spirit of exploration and cooperation. And so, the Odyssey's mission came to an end, but the story of humanity and its place in the cosmos was just beginning. The Stargate Network opened new paths to distant worlds, inviting all of the galaxy's inhabitants to explore, learn, and grow together. The legacy of the architects, now shared by the myriad civilizations of the galaxy, continued to inspire generations long after the Odyssey returned to Earth, a testament to the enduring power of curiosity, unity, and the quest for knowledge in the vast, beautiful expanse of the universe.